what up friends? Uh, this is Weston and this is going to be an update on the electrical system that I just got installed. Actually, I just finished yesterday. The first thing that I installed was the 12 volt, 100 amp hour AGM deep cycle battery and I went to Auto Tech International in Orlando. I originally bought the main components which were the 12 volt AGM battery, the inverter, and the isolator and also a voltage meter. So. I bought all that stuff and I was going to do it myself. I was thinking of me and my brother could do it, but I decided on, since I wanted to be recharged by the engine, I didn't know how to wire it through the engine and connect it to the battery without their, without, with it being safe. I had no idea how to make it safe and I don't know, there were so many variables. I decided just to go to Auto Tech International and they were super nice, helped me out. They even drew out a schematic for me, which I actually digitized and I'll be putting a link in the YouTube description if you want to check it out. So it's a deep cycle battery and this thing is connected to an isolator and a switch which is connected to the engine. Every time that the engine is turned on, so I turn on my key, the connection is turned on to the auxiliary battery. So now the engine is charging the auxiliary battery. But what this switch does that I also got installed, which Auto Tech International did, was it turns on and off the connection. So even if the engine is on, this switch can turn the connection off, which is pretty cool. So it gives me just full control of whether or not I want my engine to be connected to my auxiliary battery. Super awesome. Also, I got uh, an inverter, which can give power to 100 and up to 110, 115 volt appliances, which is just like normal household appliances. Shout out to my twin brother, Alex, who basically set up the whole solar panel for me. I was in Home Depot and I called him. I was like, hey man, I'm gonna need some tools and it kinda is ex it's kind of expensive. And he said he had the tools and he's like, dude, I'll be right there. I'll install it for you. And I was like, oh shit. So I stood around <laughs> and uh, took pictures, as you see, and uh, uh, you know, passed him tools. Thank you, Alex. These wires run down this actual paneling, wood paneling we did, we installed pretty pretty quickly. I didn't put insulation. I might go back and put insulation. It'll be fairly easy to just unscrew and put up insulation on the windows. The 100 watt solar panel has a positive and negative running out from it through the hole that Alex drilled into the van. And then it connects into the solar controller. The solar controller also has another positive and negative wire that run down into the battery. These paneling made it easy for us to connect the solar controller and make it look nice and pretty and have the cords running down behind the, the paneling so they weren't in sight. So now this now it's it's connected. We connected the battery and we are getting energy from the sun. The solar panel. What the heck? So that's basically it. Uh, I got the 12 volt battery installed with the solar panel. Now I'm set. But my next project will be installing the ventilation fan on the roof and connecting that to the battery. And I'll be posting a video on that. Also, I'll be posting a video on how I made the bed. I know I've got a couple questions on how I made the bed. So thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it.